Hi, today we're going to look at graphite elements. We're going to look at a few of the do's and don'ts for installation, removal, when and why to remove them if indeed necessary. And we're going to use this Titan H2 as an example here to show you how to do that. Historically speaking, when a hot zone is new or you've replaced the elements, it's imperative that for the first month of operation, that once a week we come in and we spot check the titans of the graphite nuts and hardware. Basically, we don't need a tool to do this. The nut is supposed to be hand tight, and that's as tight as it needs to be. And then as the furnace runs, the elements in the connector blocks will mate together, and then the connection gets a little loose, and that requires the weekly checking for the first month of operation. Now we're gonna look at the removal of graphite elements. They're all the same. Actually, unlike metal elements, the graphite elements are relatively easy to remove and check. What we want to look for is signs of arcing, either on the element itself or on the element turnaround block, the connector block here. You will see a 60 thousandths graph oil washer that goes between the element and the graphite block. The purpose of this washer, and it's important that it's in there, is to make up for machining anomalies in the flatness of the element and the turnaround block. With time through pumping, heating, cooling, and vibration, the high spots, if any, wear down, and that's what makes the connections a little loose why we have to check them once a week, sporadic checking, for the first month of operation. And after that, the elements are seated properly, and then we don't have to worry about them loosening up anymore. So once we've inspected the base of the element, and the element in the graphite washer is good, we put the washers back in, we take the graphite element, we position it in place, we make sure that the washers underneath are squared, We put the mounting hardware back on. We give it a good tighten by hand. And that's all we need. Now people confuse the term arcing and shorting. A short circuit is when the element physically is breaching to earth or ground. And the current from the element is going to ground and arcing. That's really a short circuit. Arcing on the other hand, which is confused by a lot of people, is merely when a connection gets loose and it can't handle the current that's passing through it, and it starts to carbon arc and soot in here. Signs of that are black sooting on the elements and the jumper bars. That's normally a sign of a loose connection, whereas physical short circuiting is something touching the elements and earth. That's a short circuit. This is arcing. So by maintaining the tightness of these once a month, I mean once a week for the first month of operation, after that, everything is eccentrically mated together, and there's no need for it again. And then we're done.